Okay, so we've got a few other uh, features on this machine or on the Mac 3 that we can adjust, um, which you can adjust while the machine's running. Um, these are basically your feed rate, which is the, the speed that the machine's going to be moving at, and your spindle speed, which is uh, your spindle speed. Um, so down the bottom here, our feed rate is 3,000 uh, meters per minute, um, which we've preset in our program, which we wrote earlier. So we can see here, when we wrote that in our uh, CAD software, CAD CAM software, we set it to 3000. And that's what this is in reference to. You can slow that down and it's in a percentage form. So we've got 80% is 2400 feed rate. And we can also increase that. Uh, I don't advise increasing it because uh, then you're going beyond what you've set your limits to. but definitely go with reducing it so if you're running a program for a first time and you're a little bit concerned you can slow it down and run it at say 50% speed is what it was see if it's cutting through the material you're cutting through at the right speeds if you want to reset that we can then push that and you see that it will go back to uh, our 100% standard same with the spindle speed we can reduce that down so we've got it set for 18,000 rpm which you can see in our program up the top here is MO3S18000, that's our spindle speed. But again, we can slow that down uh, as the machine is running to a lower spindle speed. Um, these things here you generally leave fixed. You might adjust it when you're trying to figure out the best uh, feed rates for cutting different materials.